hi there everyone welcome to another episode of trevor's terrarium here at geektopia island i'm cardwell and i'm kevin and that's trevor today we're gonna revisit the labyrinth for everyone but it's gonna be a little 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 change to it of course to make it a little more competitive and and not so fun for the opponent but before we get into it we're going to remind you that we do have a patreon it only takes a dollar to support us and we love you very much for it uh, and then and that will be down below the link for that all right, let's get into Lost and Found for sure. Now we switched up the colors. The blue wasn't really happening for us, so we went, went to black. So therefore we actually have a, something that actually might help us out a lot, and that's Ergon, the Tragic Gargoyle, as the champion. Well, with Exhaust, you send the top two cards of your deck to the discard zone, and then Exhaust pay one, put target unit from your discard zone on top of your deck. So there you go, that, that helps it out, especially with the little worm. That when you exile from the graveyard and two other things, then you lose two counters on your Maga Maze. Awesome. Yeah. So, it super. just, it, it literally gives you an extra way to win. Exactly. And of course, we have to have white for all the other good cards for the maze. So it's Sola, the Light Spirit. So at the end of the turn, you may switch up to one exhausted units to active. And then you can Soul Burst, put it into the Night Guardian 2000. That's probably what you'll be using it mostly yeah, for. Yeah, and it's, it's still really good just because it gives you a good blocker. Like it, a good Guardian. Exactly. <laughs> Good old Guardian. Alright, the first guy we got is Jubei's Servants. It is one for 1,000. This card gets plus 1,000 if you control a great Mega Maze. So, one mana 2,000 dude. Pretty yeah, strong. Just swing in and kill all their dudes as fast as possible. Yeah. And this is the worm that we were talking about. It's a one drop 500 Mega Maze worm. No, not that way. While you control the great Mega Maze, Mega Maze this card is treated as all subtypes. Expel this card from your discard zone and two other Mega Maze units from the discard zone. Remove a maze counter from the Great Mega Maze. So there you go. You put them in the graveyard and other things and then you just win. Yeah. Next up is Jubase Pranksters. It is two for 1500 and they are a Mega Maze unit. They arrive, you may put two maze counters on target Mega Maze and if you do, draw two cards. It sounds kind of counterproductive for what you're wanting, but this card is actually really strong. That was one of the big downfalls we had on the last one is now card draw. Yeah. And sure, you put two more counters on your on your maze, but you're going to be able to remove them, so it's not really a huge deal. Yeah, really, really quick. And to help remove those is made of the maze uh, Jennifer Connolly. It's 1,200, uh, two drop, and arrive, choose one, add the Great Maga Maze from your deck or discard zone to your hand. So if you mill it with Ergon, you just put it back in your hand, which is ridiculous. And then remove, or remove a, a maze counter from target, the Great Maga Maze. And with Ergon, Every turn you can put her on top after she dies, so you can just keep doing it to play to remove the counter. It's ridiculous, for sure. Next is the Mega Maze Gatekeeper. He is 3 for 1500, and he is a Mega Maze unit that you can sacrifice this card. This, uh, your opponent cannot target augments you control with spells or abilities this turn, which is awesome, because yeah. you can't target my Mega Maze. And then he's got a rune trigger, says put a great Mega Maze from your hand or discard zone into play. So if you have a no Megas and you get one of these dudes in play, you can kill it to go get one. Yep. And go straight up to play too, which is stupid. All right, the next one is Hoina Conjurer Supreme. Uh, she's a three drop 2000. Exhaust, offering X. So expel any number of units from your discard zone. Put into play, target with total cost X from your discard zone uh, with X being the offering. So therefore you can just bring uh, uh, Sarah back every time. Oh yeah, just like oh, bring it back into play. Thanks, and it's only and since she costs what three. So with uh, what's his face, you can get there pretty well. Next up is Lloyd, the Traveler of Worlds. He is four for a two thousand. He's got an arrive trigger. You may place up to three target spells from your discard zone under this card. You may place spells under this card as if they were in your hand. If you do expel them after they are played, if this card would leave the field, expel all cards under it. So this just helps you recast all your spells to help you do things. Yeah. Whether it's get counters off of your maze or to do other stuff, you get to do it. And yeah, especially that white card that we'll get to, which is ridiculous. And to be able to keep replaying that, you win really quickly. Now we have Bagoon, the friendly beast. He is a Mag Maze beast. Four drop to 2,500. He has Guardian and Unblockable. And then you can remove a maze counter from the Great Mag Maze that has five or more counters exhaust target unit. Now that will be weird to say because it will be five or more, like why would you do that? But when we get to Jubai, you'll understand why. Yeah. Next up is Nob the Shadow Guardian. It is four for 2,500 Guardian and he's got to arrive. If there's a destroyed dark tower, target unit gets minus 2,000. 
This dude is just a solid dude. Yeah. He's not like game breaking, but he can be. He can get there pretty quickly. Because 2500 is nothing to like scoff at. Yeah. That, that dude will kill you. And it kills a dude. Yeah. Kills a dude. Fantastic. Twice. He blocks and kills a dude. Yeah. Thanks. And of course, Jubai, uh, David Bowie, he's 5 drop, 2500. Uh, if you control the Great Maga Maze, it costs uh, 2 less to play, so it'll cost 3 really quickly. Arrive. You may put a maze counter on the target, Great Maga Maze, and if you do, search your deck for a Maga Maze unit with cost 4 or less and put it into play. Therefore, you get the bag Bagoon creature, puts, put him into play, so you have a Guardian as long as well as a 2500. And for 3 uh, shards, hopefully. And therefore, I, I did it in our brawl once when I had six counters, so I was able to tap down two dudes. So, th th there you go. That's how it works. That is it for the creatures. We're going to go into the spells, and the first one we got is Delayed Poison. It is one mana augment. You equip to a unit at the start of the next turn to destroy that unit, and the way it triggers in this game is they're, they get to control it, so it's on their turn that it dies. Yeah. Super cheaty for the rules like that, yeah. but super good. Okay, so Omega Magic Yami, it's a two drop insta cast. Choose one or two if you have two or less uh, towers remaining. You can choose both. Uh, target unit gets minus 1000 so you can kill a dude, or return target unit costs three or less from your discard zone to the field, which means Sarah. So mm -hmm. you just bring back Jennifer Colley as much as you want. <laughs> the next up is the Great Maga Maze itself. It is three for an augment. You can play only, you can only control one at a time. This card comes into play with five maze counters on it. Exhaust, if it has no maze counters on it, destroy it, and if you do, you win the game. So it's just a different win condition that you get to be like, hey, I win now. Thanks. Yep. And that's what you're doing the whole time. Now, what you want to get with the creature that expels spells is through dangers untold. It's a four drop spell. Play only while you control the great Maga Maze. So, but you get to choose one. If you control Madden the Maze Sarah, then you get to choose both instead. Units and towers you control take no damage until your next turn, and then remove two maze counters from the target Grand Magma Maze. That's yeah. insanely powerful. Yeah, that card is ridiculous, because it just does so much for you. It gives you so much value. Yeah, if you play that back to back, you just win. Yeah. Oh yeah. Much. And next up is Revival of the Sun. It is an X card. You pay X, you get whatever X is. Put into play a target unit with cost X minus one from your discard zone. So if you want a two drop, you gotta pay three. Yep. And you're like, cool, give me the two drop. Done. Some people may not want to play this card, but it's literally just a reanimate spell, so it gives you a bigger hand, essentially. Yeah. If you have it, because you're like, cool, what's in my graveyard? Oh, that guy? I want him back. Yeah, that guy. I'll just bring Sarah back, remove the thing. Yeah. Get, get my maze back. It's just as simple as that, to be honest. It's really good. And we'll get into the shards now. And of course, we have to have Corona the Spirit Ruby. And it's a legendary shard, comes into play, and then you can ta uh, exhaust, flip your spear face down, destroy target unit. Really only use this at, uh, if you need to, because it just kills a dude. It's really good. And of course we have Hollow Crystal. Uh, it only comes into play untapped if you have your Light Spirit, which we do. But you can pay one, exhaust, target a unit with Guardian, gets plus 500 this turn. So therefore you can keep your... Jubai and your new buy and all those buys. Yeah, Guardians. you can keep Nob alive and he's ridiculous. Exactly. And then of course we have the Argent Shards, just because we have to, right? Yeah. But with that, that is the deck. Uh, it looks very, way more efficient and super fun to play in these colors and I can't wait to, yeah. to just win with it. I'm way more excited about playing this one because it doesn't seem as ridiculous. Like there's no draw in this one, or not as much draw, but it is going to be really fun because I get a lot of kill spells. Exactly. Yeah. All the kills. But with that, hopefully you enjoyed your stay here at Geektopia Island. You have a good day. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, I just remind y'all to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and if you want to keep up to date on all the future content, make sure you click that bell. It'll give you all the notifications you need. With that, we'd like to go ahead and give a big thank you to all our fans that support us through the year, and especially our Patreon support people. Uh, we do like to give a shout out to our Mythic and Above uh, supporters, and that would be Dwayne Higgs. Thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. We love you.